What's up brick builders? Today's build is the ARC-170 Starfighter. Set number 8088. Year it came out was 2010. Age group 7 plus. Number of parts is 396. Price per piece is 13 pence, quite high. Uh, cost back in 2010 was 49.99, so you're looking at 50 pounds. Current value, if you have a mint, good condition, box sealed, uh, you're looking at £275. What a great investment. Used from, you're looking at around 126 100, yeah, 126 to 166 even used. Fantastic investment. What's up, folks? Sean from Britain Bricks. I hope you're well. This is awesome. It comes with minifigures. It's got some interesting pieces. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. All right, so what we've got, we'll turn the instructions off for a second. There we go. What we've got, we've got, got some wheels, some elements there, wheel elements. We've got some rims. We've got quite a few of those. We've got some of these as well. Interesting. Lots and lots and lots of angled plates. Lots of angled plates. We're going to move those aside. Um... Yeah, the cockpit pieces, they are stickers. They're not printed. So these have been put on pretty darn well. I don't know if you can see the line. If I put my arm over there, you might see the line of the sticker. Um, we'll put those aside as well. And this, what a cool piece. I don't know what it is. But what it does do is it holds the uh like corkscrew inside this piece here so other than that i'm not sure what use it is maybe there's like a big cog can go in there because there's gear, uh, there's um pinholes or axle holes right along here um you can stick it to plates you can have an axle running through it yeah pretty cool interesting piece lots of axles lots of axles more more curved plates uh some straight plates there some more circle pieces oh, there's another cockpit there we'll just move that aside move some more angle pieces sure we got some printed pieces in here as well we got um this i believe is uh kit fisto's uh astromech this is was it r4 p44 so there's that. There's Kip Fisto. And he's a, it's like a, a rubber head. So that's kind of cool. The camera can focus on that. Come on, camera. No. And his head just rolled off. Anyway, let's let's crack on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go move the micro microphone a little bit so that I don't head by it while I'm building. And now let's get the instructions up for you. So, here's the instructions. Looks fantastic. It's like an X-Wing. It's predecessor to the X-Wing. And first of all, we've got, what is it? It's Cap Captain Jag. So we've got Captain Jag. There's a normal torso there. Uh, this is the normal uh, pilot's uh, helmet. The only dif difference between Captain Jag and the uh, normal pilot is Captain Jag's helmet is blue stripe. And it's got a little bit more detail along it than what uh, the normal pilot has. It's got these blue dots here as well. So, yeah. His mini figure head has like an orange piece around the eyes. That's to act as like um, X-Wing goggles or what you would see Luke Skywalker was wearing in his X-Wing. So there's his hat. And we've got his legs so we got his legs there that's captain jag not captain jack captain jag got some legs here so we're going to do ir4 p44 next we'll pop that on there his head is actually really cool as well so we got a minifigure helmet there oh, we got another circular piece there um there are a lot of pieces here so it does take a little bit of searching I'm just going to separate a few pieces. There's another one of those somewhere. There is. Uh, Kit Fisto has a lightsaber as well. All right, so 
Ask what P44 wears his head. And his leg. He needs another leg. Uh, white leg. There's a lot of things that get lost. <coughs> Which can slow the video down. <laughs> so, what I'll do is I'll put him aside. We got another pilot head. So we'll pop that on there on his torso. We'll pop it on the right way around. And got his helmet. No he needs legs, and they are grey legs. There they are. And that's that's the other pilot. And then we've got Kit Fisto himself. Great printing on the front. It's a robes. Nothing on the back though. And his legs are plain as well. The special part really is his head. There we go. That's Kit Fisto. And here we'll get a lightsaber at some point. So we've got a flat silver lightsaber hilt. And a trans uh, neon orange. Neon yellow? Neon green? Or is that neon green? I think that's neon green. And that is his lightsaber. Still not found a droid head or a... The droid head is fairly dark. So if I get my thoughts on looking for something that's a bit dark do have some uh, th there's a lot more stickers to this build than uh, or to this set than printed that's another sticker with a console um there's some trans pink i think that's dark is that dark pink i think that's a dark pink um for the engines there's two of those there's another one here uh, there's the there's the corkscrew I was telling you about that goes in the block, and we do have a couple of droid body ele uh, ele ele elephants elements. Um, it's exactly the same element as you can see. They got their hole on either side there for the legs. This is completely plain because it's actually used as part of build and not not uh, as a droid you could probably do that uh, we got some old uh, wheel rims that have got dual sides they got the six spoke and the industrial so there's a couple of those as well they're not being used as wheels there's some pretty decent or clever shall we say um, part usage in this set there really is got a couple of cogs a couple of gears different size gears there um, another rim Pop that aside. Just slowly sorting some bits and pieces here. Um, plates with pins or pinholes. Got some of those. There's a fair bit of technic element in here as well. This is like almost feels like a review while I'm looking for a head. I think I found it. No, I haven't. That'd be the that would be the similar element. Um, we're looking for a circular, circular, or oh, we got some circular blocks as well. Put those aside. There's a couple of those. Another one there. Another gear. Um, yeah, there is quite a bit of Technic um, build to this. <laughs> I'm wondering why I can't find his head. Or his leg, for that matter. We'll, we'll probably find it as we go along so let's start we've got uh where's this a one by eight we've got two of those two one by eight dark bluish gray plates going to make some space in the middle here and lay them out and then we got this two by four tanned plate that's going to go on top there and then we got these two by four sloped bricks red and attach that to the plates like that so this kind of be like that so these, the, the slope brick is going to overhang we're going to put the other one on the other side so we can get the plate on like that and then we got another two sloped bricks two by four that are going to go along the side there where's the other two by four they hide everything hides everything hides there it is. Especially when it's turned upside down or something. Changes the shape of it. Alright, so we've got another 2x4 template there. Then we've got these 
cool uh, two by four curved bricks, but they're sloped. They got this kind of curve and slope. It's it. They are really actually kind of cool. Um, they kind of curve out. Is it two by four? Oh, I found a droid leg. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. Progress. Now we just need his head. Um, two by four brick, and it's smooth and it just just curves out. It's it's really cool. It's actually really cool. It gives that nice little shape. And two by four curved brick. You know, I'm, I'm going to actually struggle <laughs> to find these parts. Oh, that's not it. Um, because they're, yeah, they're so hidden at the moment. The more we build, the easier it gets. And this is probably not the ideal uh, way of laying out. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a one by ten. And that's going to go on top of the slope bricks. We can need another one by ten right there on top. And then we want a Technic brick, which is red and it's got two holes in it. And then we got these one by two dark red plates. That's going to be on the bottom there. And then we've got a two by two inverted white is going to go on top of that. And then we can make the missiles. So that's the trans dark green or t uh, trans green cone shape. There's two of them. There's two there. And then we're using this Technic pin here with the stud on the end like that. And that's your missile. And you go just pop that into the Technic brick hole because these are the push out missiles. A few of you are uh, familiar with the push out missiles, but you basically do that. I got to recover them now. There we are. But they're, they're kind of effective. Kind of effective. But don't do it while pointing it at somebody, folks. Don't do that. That'd be that'd be bad. So it's going to sit kind of flush. This uh, this inverted is going to sit flush to these curved bricks, and these uh, trans green cones are just going to peek out. That's how you know you got it in the right place there. So then we got these. I think they're one by six curved inverted. There we go. One by six curved inverted. Those are going to go on these two studs here we want another curved inverted right there so that's that um, and then we're putting some more one by six dark bluish gray plates on top of these bricks um, but they're gonna go from the edge of the white inverted so we've got four studs on the back here two studs we're going to use the one by two plates on there now we only have two white studs left and then we're going to put a four by eight i believe that's a four by eight light bluish gray plate on the front end here of the curved bricks like so next we've got the now then this is interesting we've got to find out Make sure that it's the right length. If I've got the scale right, I think it's the longer one. I think that's a 10. If in doubt, get yourself a plate, put it in the groove between the two, uh, the uh, the studs, and then count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And that's how you kind of uh, work out the length of your axles. Okay, so then we got a, a two by six plate and then one by two dark red plate. It's gonna go on the end like so. Then we've got this dark gray one by two Technic brick with a single hole in it. It's gonna go on top of that plate. And on top of that is gonna be another one of those one by two dark red plates. And then the ultra cool brick. I'm gonna call it the ultra cool brick. It, it's it's just fantastic. It's got so much use, and that's just gonna pin on the base like that. Then we've got. It looks like a plunger or something like that. Oh yeah, we need the gear, don't we? We need the um the the cog, or the 
the, the corkscrew and then I picked that corkscrew up I don't think I separated it so it is amongst here somewhere no I got it because we just uh, had a look at it and maybe I buried it it's not in the gears should be that would have been an ideal place to put it fantastic <laughs> oh there's another gear okay still haven't found the droid head either wow um oh yeah i i had an issue with these color plates the dark red plates this particular set seemed to have suffered in some sort of weakness um because it cracks there's I've, I've got a couple of plates here there you go this one it cracks it, and it cracks so easily uh, i've cracked two other plates on a different set same color um i don't know there was if there was an issue with this particular set at the time um or lego in general or or just star wars lego in general um in 2010 but yeah so that turns the the corkscrew as you can see that's going to be part of the wing build so then we gotta put a uh, axle connector a black axle connector is going to go on the end of that and then we got a red axle too long axle going to go into the end of that and then we've got a gear that's going on the end of that so that is what's going to turn the wings it's going to lift the wings up and this goes gets positioned inside here and it's right there so that plate is level with these bricks here so this whole thing's level here and the missiles oh this is going to be what pushes the missiles out as well huh see this yeah that's going to push missiles out as well so it's not only going to lift the wings it's going to push the missiles out i just noticed that then you get it in the hole right so we won't do that again <laughs> we want to build so that's really cool that's really cool uh which is a two by eight tanned plate is going to go on the front here there's a two by eight tanned plate it's going to go on top and then we got a four by four plate going on the back end here four by four plate on there love the color scheme by the way the color scheme is really cool there it is showing you uh demonstrating that it launches the missiles we got these Technic beams and uh, count the holes there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. And then we got these two um, connectors with two pins on either side and a hole in the middle. Just pop those in there. We're, we're going to straighten those out in a minute. We'll get the other one. And there it is. And that's going to go one on either side at the far end hole and then having the bar like that flat just turn them until the holes are going across and not up then we go place two black pins just after those put the black pins in there still haven't found a droid head like that and then we're going to mount that to the technic brick and that is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stud. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Perfect. And that's going to go in there. So the pins are going to be one hole in. And we're going to do two of those. So fantastic. But we'll do two of those. And there. And 
to make sure you've got the um, the hole uh, going along the bar and not pointing up. Could cause some problems later on in the build. A bit like finding your pieces, really. I mean... <laughs> Uh, how easy is it to lose, first of all, a droid head, and now, there we go, found it, and then we got the Technic Brick right here. No, it's not that. We're doing the pins, aren't we? Two black pins. Two black pins. I bet you guys can see the droid head, can't you? Right. So now we got two of them. And they're going to go on either side. And they're going to go level from the end of this tan plate here. So they start there. Like that. And then we got a two by two. Uh, light bluish gray plate on the end there oh and then we got this cool dark gear that's going to go into this slot here and that's going to roll around with the um the corkscrew in the bottom there so if we move this you should see that gear actually slowly rolling so it's changed the actual speed of the movement which is really cool because that's going to make the wings so that they move slow and we got these one by six inverted curved bricks. Again, they're going to go on the ends. They will, if you can find both of them. Um, there it is. So like that. Kind of looks like a boat at the moment. And then we got a eight axle. I think that is. It looks like an eight axle. So it's a smaller axle than 10. Not that one. And that's gonna go straight through the middle here and it's gonna go into the gear. So you're looking at, from your black, black pin on the back end, one hole in and then it should be in there. Just give it a slight rotation until you catch the gear and then push it all the way through. And you should have just about enough on each side for two gears. And that's what we're going to put on next is the two light and bluish gray gears. You might have to hold the axle in place just in case you're pushing it through. In this case, we didn't do that like that. Now, if we turn it, we should see these wheels move as well. And you see that? They're moving really slowly. But once they're attached to wings, that wing movement is pretty fast. So then we got these one by six dark red bricks. They're gonna go across the front here. We're now building the fuselage. And then we got uh, one by two bricks as well. And, oh look. Don't know why there's no, it, they used a one by in, used a one by eight instead of a one by six and a one by two. I'm not I'm not quite sure why they did that. Right. So then we got a two by four black uh, no two by four uh, brick gray brick is going to go on the end of that square plate like that. And then we've got oh we got that console that's going to go in here that's going to go right on the end of that tan plate. And then we got some more two by eight uh, tan plates. First of all, let's mark. Let's let's yeah. Let's mark where this go. This is going to go first, I think, because what it looks like is two studs in. We're going to drop a two by six white plate across. So we got the two studs there. And then along here, now we can drop the two by eight tan plates. So you kind of know where where they're going then. 
two by eight templates like so and then we have i think there's a one by two dark red plates are going to go alongside here um one by two oh gosh there we go and then we got a two by four template going across the back end here kind of closes that off and then we got these two uh four long studs two by four stud um curved or not curved sorry angled plates so we got that one there and it's going to angle in towards the fuselage so it's going to go into the front so it's going to point the front and we want two of those so we want one for one side and one for the other side they're very very different I put it over here there it is like that so it's kind of like an arrow uh next oh right okay we got these um hinged bricks so we got a two by uh, two by two light bluish gray plate it's going to be the base for these hinged bricks so there's hinged bricks here you got one with the hole and one with the pin you go drop the pin into the hole and we got four of those so we got to find four of those so there's another one those are two pins so we need two holes we've got three pins now great there you go got a hole pop that in there and that one in there and we need one more with a hole and that's it so then we're going to attach that to this plate here and the bulge is going to be on the outside we're going to call this the outside okay so it's the outside so it kind of does this and then we're going to put uh is that one by six light gray plates are going to go on each of these these arms here let's go call them is the arms one another there is like okay there like that so this is going to be forming the nose cone you can see that and so we got two by two uh, one by two uh, bricks in the middle so one by two brick and then we got this two stud area and that's going to be for the other ones this time the bulge is going to face inwards okay so the front is going to be outwards and the back is going to be inwards because you're going to get this this kind of angle later on that straightens it out it's a pretty clever build technique and we go put some tiles some one by six tiles across the top we'll do that just to dress it up a bit like that and we're going to put a one by two dark red plate go across the top the front there and then we've got this one by two with four stud drop down corner plate is going to go on these two studs here on the front and then the four studs are going to sit on the front of the nose and we're going to attach this to the other part of the model so take your first uh, angle uh, uh, hinged brick and just pop it in place that's that's fairly easy and then what you want to do is just put this in place as well like so now it's not going to be straight not yet but what you're going to do later on is you're going to do something that will actually hold the shape so don't worry about if it's like at, a, at an odd angle at the moment uh, and then we got these one by eight dark bluish gray plates are going to go across here so we got one and then another one that's kind of bringing this level 
and then we've got some um, sloped bricks here and we've got some inverted bricks here and here as well uh, we've also got um, four dark is it four two two dark red uh, plates going on here as well so what we're going to do is we're going to going to mark where the two by three slope bricks are going and they're basically they're going after the angle plate so they're going to be on the two by four white there and they're going to be sloping in towards the center and there's the other one like so and then just after that we're going to put one white inverted and the white inverted is going to go right on the edge there right on the edge not in the middle but right on the edge and they're going to be overhanging like that okay and then after that we're going to put the one by two plates so you see what i've done i've i've marked out areas for where the next piece is going to go and then we're going to drop another two inverted white two by two bricks after that and that's that bit done and then we got another console dropping in so that is a dark bluish gray sloped brick as well here we go this is the other one it's the same console and this is going to drop on so what looks like here we have on the back end here we have three gray studs and then it drops on the last two so it's like that and then we've got another two two by two gray the dark bluish gray sloped bricks on either side there's one and they're going to be sloping into the middle as well and there's the other one too far in there we go right there so you still got the three studs on that uh, two by four next is two arches so these are one by four arches yeah so two arches really old um, Lego piece uh, or uh, element so we've got two of those so here we go there's two and these are going to be bridging across this area here so we're going to do is place those first and they're basically going to go on the end of where these two by two inverted bricks are so one there and one there so you should have a two stud gap between the two then we got these curved one by six bricks these are going to go on the end here and these are what I've been picking up all the time is these curved two by six not one by six and they're just going to go along there level with the sloped brick there like that I'm not sure if it I mean it still kind of looks like a boat uh, then we got this uh, two by six brick the two by six brick is going to go right here after these two by three bricks. So it's going to go right there. And then these two studs here, these last two white studs here, are going to be two more two by two inverted bricks. Pop those on there. And we want another one and that's on there. there's a lot of inverted stuff here that and then we got these one by four uh angled um panels these are these are like one by four panels see that and those are going to be on the end there and it's going to be a smooth edge is going to be on the outside it's not going to be the other way around so that 
the smooth edge is on the inside and you got this this kind of curve in alcove you turn it around so the alcove is on the inside so this could be like your cockpit area we've got two of those so we've got one on each side and one by four one by four angled uh, I can see a one by two cheese wedge I can see another arch there okay um one by four angled panel could be on its side there's another arch there there it is found it there we go got the hair there And next we've got uh, this build up here on the back and we've got a tilting teeter totter. We've got a teeter totter plate over here. So let's do the teeter totter first if we can. So we've got dark bluish gray base for the tilting, uh, tilting brick, tilting plate. And then you've got the two by two tilting plate top now you're going to have the hinge facing outwards away from you and you've got the flat end the smooth end facing towards you and you're going to drop that over like that so it's overhanging the flat end because it should lift back like that and that is going to sit on top of the console and that is going to be your first hinge for your cockpit. There's three cop, uh, three opening canopies in this. So we're going to build this curved piece now. So we got the. Uh, I was going to say that's a two by three. It's a two by two, but it's got this curved piece with the the, the hole in the middle. It's kind of a classic piece. Um, saw it in red, and it was on train sets and stuff. And the coupling piece would drop into that, into that hole there. So we got a two by two light gray plate is going to go on top and then we drop in another one of those curved plates on top of that so you have this like little gap in between the two and then that's going to fit on these two tan studs there like that And we've got uh, some cheese wedges. So we've got these one by four, um, one by four white plates. This is one by four white plate. We're doing two of these. So we've got the cheese wedges, just pop them on there. Doesn't matter which way until you put the first one on and then make sure your second one is sloping the same way. If it will fit, there we go, like that. So they're, they're both sloping the same way. Just pop that aside. Do the other one with a one by four plate. And I've got the cheese wedge. There's a cheese wedge. There's the arches. There's another cheese wedge. Just need the one by four plate. There it is. So again, just got to drop it anyway and then make sure this is sloping the same way. Next, when we put these on, we, these are going to slope outwards. So they go slope down like that. So you're forming the the top of the cup, uh, the the nose cone, and this is what we're doing next is the nose cone. So we've got two by six white plate. We've got two of those, and we're going to pop one underneath, and it's going to have this step down feature because the step down feature is going to have is one by three is it one by three or one by four one by four one by four uh curved bricks with these three or these two notches in here and those are going to fit on the end like so so you've got this smooth surface here or this flat surface shall we say level like that and then we got a tile and we got to find specific tile because it has a sticker on it Got a green sticker on it. Where is it? Nope. Oh wow. 
Can't be that many left. There we go. Right? No. What? <laughs> Where is it? Uh, so that's turned over. 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 This is the right. This is the right vehicle that has. There we go. There's another one. There it is. Right. And then pop it on there. And then it's kind of like a shield emblem. And then on the last two studs here, we're going to put a one by two plate with a rail on the end. So that's a. Is that those dark bluish grey? Is that black? It might be black. Um, dark bluish grey or black. Okay. Another tilting flat. There we go. Dark bluish grey. And that's going to go on the end there. We've got the rail on there, you see. And then we're going to pop that onto the front. And it should have a gap. Now this won't move because it's now locked in place. Perfect. Turn it upside down and we've got the front of the nose is being built now. So we want a 2x2 two two white brick. That's going to go on the very front. And then we've got these 1x2 brick special with the lines vertical and horizontal we're going to have horizontal facing outwards so they're kind of like vents we've got two of those so horizontal outwards like that and then we got these one by three inverted bricks that are going to follow And you're going to build this drooping shape. It's a bit of a cleaner brick, that. I don't quite... What's happened, that one? Looks a bit dirty. Nope, maybe it's the light. Maybe it's the light. And... One by three. Like that. And then we got another one by three. On top of those. one and another one by three one by three one by three inverted brick see arches there is on there like that and then we got another one of those brick specials and it's going to be vertical again no, horizontal, sorry. On the outside there. I'm just pushing my wheels around. Uh, one by two, dark red plate on top of that. Uh, oh, right, and then the nose covering. So it's gonna be another one of those one by two plates with the four studs angled. And then we got two one by two dark red plates that are going to go on the front don't think it matters which way horizontal vertical doesn't matter uh, and then we're going to put a one by two jumper plate dark bluish gray on top and then a i think that's a, a trans clear one by one plate that's going to be fun to find isn't it Trans clear one by one. There it is. Found that quicker than a droid head. Like that. So it's going to be the front light or something. And then we've got these two studs here, and those are going to be with these one by two, one by three um, curved bricks. Just going to pop these two curved bricks on the front. Like that. So we've got that curved piece there. And then on top of here, we're putting another one of those two by two with curve plate on the top. So you kind of got the, the front end there. And then we're going to pin. So we're going to use these four studs here on the front. And they're going to be 
on the curved bricks here so it just neatly folds around the front and that's how you get that nice smooth front with a studded bottom with the light it's very uh it's very clever uh build technique and then we got this two by four plate uh tanned plate is going to go across half on the black brick half on the inverted like so and then two jump oh we got two of those so we got another one that's going across here so it's going to just go straight across the studs of the console not over the console but just the studs so you can still see the console and then we've got two jumper plates and they're going to be on both arches in the middle here so we've got one there and i want another i was finding jumper plates all over the place there is another one right there and next we got the oh we got two two by fours uh, two four by four plates and those are going to go in between or alongside the jumpers they're going to go opposite side of the jumpers that we just placed in there so we got those two there and then we got oh yes love these pieces these are my all-time favorite pieces i say this all the time these are these are absolutely smashing pieces have to be my favorite have to be my favorite and we're going to use two of those and those are going to go just on the end there there's such uh use there's there's a whole uh i don't know uh, i a list of ideas on how to use these it's just it is so cool and then we got these larger not those ones these ones here so we got these larger or wider um angled plates there we go and these are just going to build like a diamond so two on the back like that so they're sloping in towards the back and these are going to slope towards the front so you got this it's not quite a diamond shape it's more of a hamburger shape isn't it um then we're going to do the rear guns we're using a three i think that's a three axle or is that a five axle it could be a five axle actually i think that's a five axle we've got a couple of three axles i think the three axle is too short we've got quite a few three axles i'm just going to gather those up and see if it's all just three axles then it's a three axle thing isn't it think it's a, i think it's a three axle thing so um we need uh the uh ratchet connectors arm connectors so there's here's one of them it's a black one and then we're gonna need two of those so where's the other one and the other one the other side of it is a I think it's a light gray isn't it so this has the fingers the other one has the socket so there you go there's the socket so you just push these together nice and gently um, and you'll hear that click and then when you move them they just lock the angles which is really 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 cool so we're gonna put a three axle through there then we're going to drop that into the hole of this curved plate here like so and we should have just about enough axle to attach the other side but in order to do that we need the fingers <coughs> and the socket now when i said the socket it should have it should have appeared it don't work like that does it it really don't mm. it 
it's a light bluish gray piece doesn't seem to be hidden by anything I don't think or behind anything or underneath anything light bluish gray tube not like that um, what are there figures hiding it no wheels I mean we check the wheels no there it is it's near the cockpit just push it in together nice and gently and then turn it and then you get that right angle and pop it on the axle the same way the top one is so the same way it's facing because then you're going to put in the the bars with the stopper on the end and you're going to put them in the long ways around so the stopper is facing out because that's going to be like part of the gun so that's what these are going to be these are going to be rear you know, it could be tail guns like that and that's it there's not really much to that it's a bit it's a bit uh, it's, 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 you know it's okay um then we got a one by four plate going across the back here which is a white one so we got a one by four plate right there and that's just going to go around the back there and seal that in like that and then we got oh we got another one of my favorite plates yay love it um black and that's going to go on the end here next is two more arches but the arches are going to go the other way they're going to be on the same area but they're going to go the other way so you're going to have them running across if i can get them in there it's, uh, there we go there's one there and the other arch there so again the jumpers are in between them but they're going the other way this time then we got the four invert uh, no four vertical and horizontal bricks we're going to have the ver vertical on the inside horizontal on the outside so it's horizontal on the outside again let's just go on to the right on the edge of the tanned plate uh, yeah tanned plate there and the same on this tanned plate here All right. All right. like that and next we got two teeter totters this time so we have the plate and the plate now we need the bases they're dark bluish gray here's one uh, hinge is going to be out plate is going to overhang the smooth edge okay and you're going to do two of those so we want a dark bluish gray base there it is and it's going to overhang the smooth edge like that and then we're going to pop that first one is going to go into these two studs here these two tan studs after the you know in front of the uh great the black great plate there and that should tilt forward all of these should tilt forward and then we got another one here and this one should tilt backwards like that so that should tilt the other way towards you away from you away from you okay uh, then we got these two by four curved bricks and these are just going to go and cap these angle plates off here so just going to raise that shape 
a little bit. I don't think these are going to be the ones with stickers on. I might have to remove these because it might be the ones with stickers because these are front. No, the rear of the stickers. Okay, so then we got these. What is these? Two by six? Four by three? Three by six? Three by six curved bricks. Usually you would see them in trans yellow, trans blue, uh, dark gray um, as windows. But these are going to go all the way along here. So we're going to follow that line along. So this line along here. And I bet that's going to go on the front. I bet. So we might have to change that. And these are going to raise the end here. And those do have the stickers on the ends. And I was right. I was right. The stickers are on the front on this on these curved piece, uh, these sloped three by sixes. So stickers, and it looks like it's this this shape here, and these two shapes going to be on the towards the back. So that's that's oh my gosh, it's awkward, like that there. So these two shapes are going to be at the back. These two, uh, this one, big large large shape is going to be at towards the front. like that and then we've got plain at the back end like so and then we got vertical horizontal bricks are going to be in the middle of the arches on top uh, we want two of those and it's going to be horizontal facing outwards again and you gotta have a cheese wedge on top and the cheese wedge is going to slope down towards you or off a side and we know we need another one of those blocks in there so he's going to be on the arches not on the two studs on the uh sloped plates or bricks there and we need another cheese wedge and that's going to face outwards like so Oh, and then the cockpits, the canopies, yay, cool. Let's get these on. Right, so those are going to attach to the teeter totters. That's what I'm going to call them, is teeter totters, because you know that they are like angled. Oh, no, they're not. They're hinged, hinged plate bricks. I'm going to call them teeter totters from now on because hinged plate bricks is quite a bit of a mouthful. We're going to attach those to both of those. And this one on the end here. Like so. So you should have that. Oh. I don't think I got that one mounted properly. Either that or it doesn't sit. No, it's... There we go. That's better. Yes. Much better. There we go. It looks quite cool. It does look quite cool. Uh, yep, you can put your minifigures inside. The droid fits in the middle. The droid without a head. <laughs> he fits in the rear middle on these two... Um, these two uh, jumper plates. Uh, stickers, yep, okay. Uh, then we engines. Engines are genius, absolutely genius ideas. Right, so we're taking the droid body shapes and then we're going to put two by two circular brick on top, like that. So we've extended the barrel. And then we're going to use 10 long uh, axle. It's going to go into the dark bluish gray uh, circular brick. We're going to do two of these at the same time, if I'm going to be clever. <laughs> like that, and then the 10 in there like that. We're going to try and be clever. 
then we got the dark bluish gray. I don't know what these are. I really don't know what these elements are, to be honest with you. It's gonna axle's gonna go into the middle hole and it's gonna be loose. Then we're gonna put these uh like wind turbine -y pieces over the top and then to keep that in place we're going to put one of the wheels now the wheels gonna go in with the uh spokes face uh, facing inwards and there's gonna be two of those back to back like that and then we're gonna put another one of these dark gray two by two bricks and we're going to put the dark pink dish on the underneath of the brick and then put the brick oh actually we got a plate as we got a two by two circular plate that's going to go on top of that it kind of acts as a spacer and then you can put it on there and you kind of got the engine so we're going to do that on the other one Quickly do that. Where's Tim? Where's wind turbine bit from? There it is. I found it. Do do circular brick and a plate. Then the dark pink, and that's going to go on there. And then we got uh, is that an eight? I think that's an eight axle is going to go in the other side of the droid body. I think that's an eight axle. If that's an eight axle. That's going to go in the other side. That's an eight axle as well. So we got that in the other side there the whole design of um, this is just genius how it's been done uh, circular plate down there like so and then we got black turbine looking thing and then the <laughs> The big moon arctic wheel or whatever it is uh, that is going to be placed in. But that's going to be so the spokes or the front of the wheel is going to be facing inwards. So you've got this big alcove in the middle. Then you're going to cap that with the wheel rim and you're going to use the deep part facing outwards. So the shallow parts going in. So you get this nice deep engine piece it is it is kind of loose but that's okay it, it it will sort itself out uh let's do the other side we want the plate brick circular brick oh you know why i found i couldn't find the droid head <laughs> because it was over on the mouse mat there's the droid head right there and it is absolutely fantastic it is so well detailed let's have a quick look if i can it is so well detailed look at that it's really cool and so R4P44 has now got his head. Yay! And he can join the built minifigures. Back to the instructions. We don't want that. I want that. So we want the grey plate. There it is. On top. Black turbine. Then the big white wheel. And then the rim like so and then they got the two by two dome shape <laughs> just like the uh, astromech droids it's exactly the same element and that's just going to go 
on the end of the axle there to form the nose of the engine and we've also got so if we turn it the way the instructions are showing so the white side uh, the white wheel is on the left hand side we got a blue pin going into this hole here into the black turbine type peak Piece. And it's going to go short pin in first so you've got quite a bit of a pin sticking out then in this hole here on the white turbine piece you've got a black pin okay just on one side so big white wheel is the blue pin short pin in and then the white turbine piece is black pin oh yeah then we got this interesting holding mechanism okay so it's like a nine hole axle technic beam we want two of those so we got two of those um set those aside for now and we want the two axle connector so you've got two axle holes with um also a hole in the middle we've got two of those and we want two three axles they're going to go into the axle holes like so and then we've got these periscopes now i don't think it's those ones because those those are gray it should be dark gray i think oh i think they're gray okay they are gray and we've got two of those and then close it off with another two axle connector and if you push the axles through that's okay because you can just put it on your table or desk and flat surface and just push it down and just make sure and then you push the axles through so make sure these are facing outwards uh, then there's going to be some free axles in there as well in the ends of these so a three axle and a three axle um and then two pins in in the holes here as well so we want two black pins in the holes this kind of designated the top now there's no pins in the bottom there it's in the top then what you're going to do is you're going to attach it to the technic beam and it's going to be two holes in from one side so on the left so one two and it's going to be a third hole you're going to drop it in from behind so it's just give it a little bit of a wiggle and you should have it in there so you've got two vacant holes there and then it's a start uh yeah a pin so we have two of those and this me beam i want the two axle connector i want my three axles like so then i want the periscopes where's the periscopes there's one i want another one two and then two axle connector put it on the desk push it down put two three axle in each of these and then two black pins in the top one I need it. yep there we go two and then technic beam two holes in and then pop it in so we've got two of those then they're going to fit okay so they're going to fit with the beam on the outside the shortest part uh, with the two holes here that first hole is going to have the blue pin like that and then you go line up the black pin with the last hole slightly push them together and there you have it so we do that on the same one here uh oh there we go line up the black one push them down there we have it uh 
so we've got black pin black pins gonna go in on back end side here on the right hand side straight after that other pin but it's gonna be facing outwards so do both of those like so so now you got two pins again and then we got the 10 axle and this 10 axle is going to go through the middle and we need a yellow bushing on the end then we need these two axle plates and you're going to have one facing one way like that and you're going to have it so it's like facing out towards the right and then you're going to put another one on top but it's going to be facing towards the left or pointing towards the left so it's kind of like that okay and then that's going to drive through the middle uh, in between these two pins i believe and it's going to go in through this hole here of the droid body element so if it doesn't fit all the way through like it's not now just slowly rotate the middle until until it drops like that there we go and then this is going to control the x for uh, s foils moving up and down eventually so we're going to do that on the other side so we want 10 axle we want the stopper like so and then we want this one facing to pointing to the right so the bottom one's pointing to the right and the top one's pointing to the left i don't, I don't think it really matters which top or bottom um as long as they're opposite each other because they're both going to move each part of the wing up so again in between the two black studs here uh, two black pins here drop it in slowly rotate the middle like this see the holes there so just slowly rotate it until the pin drops or the axle drops and then we're going to put a large bushing on the other side of this axle so we've got a large bushing that's going to keep the axle in place so it's not going to fall out now like i mean it, it probably won't fall out anyway um but put a bushing on top and then we gotta put a gear on top of the bushing like so so big bushing and a gear all i can see is lots of plates now <laughs> all right so then we get this technic l shape and you gotta look at it as a bed so there's your headboard this is your bed this is the base of your bed or the foot of your bed we're going to put two pins in we're going to put one in at the base of the headboard and they're going to go in short short pin in and the other one is going to go just before the uh, foot of the bed because it can't because it's an axle hole so that one's actually going to go in there and then we're going to put a um uh, one whole axle connector so it's got a hole and an axle obviously it's going to go on the hole and it's going to go on that last pin the right pin there so we're going to build two of those now then i think i have to reverse this at least reverse the side on this because i'm doing two like so i think that's where i got to he's not sure so anyway this is going to connect into this axle hole here and that hole in between the two pins so it's going to go through there and it's going to find its home in the axle hole push it all the way in and it's like that and there you have it actually it's on the wrong side <laughs> it's on the wrong side it's on the wrong side there we go so oh it's gonna join these two together i think like that no maybe 
something like that. Okay, no, okay, we're gonna put one on top, one on the bottom, I think. That's what I think we're gonna do. Oh, we are indeed, we are indeed, and we already made one. So that's gonna go on the bottom one, like that. So these what are gonna hold the X the, the S foils. And then when you slowly turn this these pieces will open and spread them so we're going to put elastic bands around these now for well, these these are special bands and they're going to go over the blue pins and they're going to go around the gray uh, one hole axle connectors as well so they're like that now when you turn the cog it will be quite resistant you see that i don't know if you can actually lock it there we go but the band will bring them back and we're doing two of those <clears throat> right so we need to build this the foot of the bed base of the headboard is one foot of the bed is the other and then we got the one hole axle connector and that's one side and then we want to reverse it so flip it over base of headboard for the bed one hole axle connector on the end and one is going to go in there and the other one is going to go in there put the elastic back elastic band it's not you can use elastic band if you don't have these bands but there you these are these are special i don't know how long life they are though but they are pretty they're pretty robust i mean this is fairly old 2010 these these have lasted a while just test it out yep works perfect so that's two of those and we're going to attach that to the craft so the gears are going to be what's facing inwards and the two pins here that we had are going to be into these two pins here in two holes here they shouldn't move around or rotate or anything like that so it shouldn't be too hard and then this axle is going to go into the hole next to the gear here so you can't line the axle up then get the pins lined up give it a bit of a wiggle push one in give it a bit of a wiggle and the other one should go in now then if it's going to still resist, it's because the gear here needs a little bit of a twist. So just give it a bit of a twist and it will drop like so. Hear that nice little click? That means it's home. And that's the first one in. So next one in front. Find the pin. Find the pin. That's it. And that one. Yep. Now we just need to rotate the gear. Rotate one of the gears. Just so that it will it will fall in and it should lock into place like so. There we go. Now then now then for the magic this is now what spreads the S foils. See that? Fantastic, isn't it? It's just it is such cool build um, technique. It really is. It's it's so well thought of. All right, so we got the wings. We're going to do two wings together. We're going to speed this up a bit. So we got a two by six. Uh, no, sorry, a 4 by 6 We've got two of those. So we've got two 4 by 6s here. We're going to do two wings together. 
and we've got one by six tile it's going to go across one side and so we're going to do both on this we're going to reverse yeah we're going to reverse you know um what's the name uh what's the word gonna mirror gosh i'm gonna mirror and so that's that is going to come to the edge of the plate there like so and then we got a it's like two by ten it's going to go there and follow this edge here it's smooth it is it's level with that so we're going to do the other side no so that's that it's that way isn't it yep sometimes mirror building is not easy is it uh two by four plates or tiles sorry it's going to be two studs on and it's going to be right on the edge there two studs on so two studs on there two studs on there oh and we got one going across here as well this is going to hold these two together so it's down here so it holds those two pieces together we've got one on here and that's going to hold so yeah you can see it's it's kind of spreading out a little bit so closes it up a bit then we got the angled red dark red plate that is going to follow the angle from the white and then we've got this plate here which be very careful with them these ones this is what happened to me see that it's it's cracked it's it's not good so just be very careful with them. Um, I think it's the the color um, because I don't have any issues with the the white ones, the gray ones. I don't have any issues with those at all. But the, these color bricks or plates, at least these plates, uh, have been cracking on me. So I flip them over, and then we're going to put these uh, buttons. And these buttons are going to go to hold the angle plate, the middle plate, and the long plate. So, one on that side. Just slowly rotate it until it drops. And then we've got the two by two plate with a pinhole and they're going to go on the two by two area here at the end of these tiles and you're going to have you can have the uh, pinhole on the outside on the edge not on the inside so like that that just like that then we got two by three plates these are going to go across the the on the half on the uh, the black plate that we just popped on there with the pinhole it's going to go on there like that just to strengthen that up and build it up a bit it's going to be on each side so it kind of bulks it up oh well, you know, it was supposed to bulk it up, but I guess that was more fragile than I thought. Now then. We go. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Can we build it without... Uh, without remembering? I think so. Like that, like that. Like that and that we 
was on the bottom there? What was holding that on? Was it the tile here? Take that one off. Because I think it was smooth in the middle there. And then we got the curve, not the angle plate like that. Um, so we were doing this. Now we got a, a two by six going across here. See, if I'd have put that on beforehand, that might have stopped that from happening. <laughs> so cross there, like so. And then we got this two by four uh, cut corner plate here. And looking at the wing here, we've got it on the end like that. So it's half on, half off. So it's it's kind of making this. No, actually, is that that's all the way on, isn't it? It's just kind of given. It's just kind of giving us this little angle here to finish it off. And then you've got this curved plate that's going to go on the end there. It just gives that little curved edge or rounded edge of the wing, which is quite cool. It is actually quite cool. So we do that on this side. This is where we got the broken, broken plate. Oh man, that's gonna, we got this facing the wrong way. Oh, we do. I might, might just break this a bit more. Face it inwards. And then that on there. And then this shoot. I am determined to break this plate, I think. That's what I think I'm determined to do. Here we go. That's better. And then the curved plate underneath, holding both those together. The hole is in the middle. Actually, kind of looks battle worn. <laughs> you know, it's been shot. And it's got a little hole in it. I think that's that. Yep. And then we got the gun. Okay, so the gun looks kind of cool. It's one by four. Then we got the brick, Technic brick with a hole in the middle. The hole is going to face along it's going to run along the length of the brick here, uh, the plate here because you're going to put a pin in the end and then you got vertical horizontal uh, bricks and then you got the inverted one by two brick so it's kind of like that there's going to be vents then you go put a pin in the end like so and then Gonna pop that along these two plates here, like that. So it's on the edge of these two plates here. We've got another one of those, so let's quickly put that together. And the brick and the pin. The Technic pin, there we go. Last Technic pin. And it's gonna go along this line here. And the pin is gonna be facing the flat level end, not the curved end. Just like that. Oh yeah, we've got the bar going into the pin right so bar again with the stopper on the outside kind of gives that muzzle ca uh, the cannon muzzle look like that then we're going to double up so we got another one going on there so again one by four plate vent brick inverted and another 
brick with a hole in it so it's exactly the same but this time in this hole we're going to be putting the uh, pin with the axle the blue pin with axle is going to go into that hole there and then you're going to put this on top it should go on top like so by four vent brick as the inverted and brick with the at hole and pin with axle uh, on like that so it's kind of continuing this this slope here but it's got this step down here kind of looks like Klingon bird of prey uh, cannons I guess this one's gonna have the axle uh, connector and the axle 10 axle so you've got 10 axle you've got an axle connector and then the axle connector is just gonna fit on the end of that pin and then you can put another can uh, uh, axle connector on there just as another muzzle so it looks quite kind of effective actually if you see that against the white background there it, it does actually look quite effective for such a, a design on it it does look actually quite cool you could definitely use this this kind of build for uh, Klingon Bird of Prey there we go and then we're going to attach those so these plates with the pins here they're going to attach to these two pins here not these two pins these two pins like that push them home and the same again this is where the wingspan starts to get a little bit oh wow it's, big. it's that big it's actually quite a big craft it really is oh don't do that don't like that sound there we go there we go and you can see <laughs> yeah that's 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 quite uh that's quite the size <laughs> it's quite the size and it's taking quite a time as well to do right i'm just gonna move these parts over here so we can put this down and get access to these because this is going to finish off the wings right there we go so this is doing the other wing we've done that so we go through that so this is just the uh, the S foils and we're going to do two of those we're going to actually do I think four of them aren't we I don't know if they're going to be the same design, but we'll see. So across the bottom here, we're going to put a 2x4 tile. So it holds it in place like that. And then underneath, we're going to put the 2x3 curved plate on the end here. So it kind of gives that curved wingtip piece there. Underneath also, we've got the two... Uh, there's two two by two plates with uh, the pinhole and again the pinhole is going to be facing out outside of the wing because we're going to be attaching that to the these four pins here like that flip it back over and we've got the printed it's not printed <laughs> stickers um, the, the the sticker uh, two by two circular and have this sticker so that the gap in the circle the line is going across not down i mean if you get it the wrong way around you just rotate it don't you simple so there's two of those that's kind of a simple design i think he says all right and that and underneath these two here 
that. And 10, 10 tile it will <laughs> it will there we go like that it's all the same and those are going to go on top so you can put these into these blue pins here to give it a little bit of a wiggle and eventually you can push them in There we go. So next is the bottom ones. And it looks like the same design, actually. It does look like the same design. Because uh, you can turn these upside down because of the pinholes. So yeah, it's exactly the same design by looks things. So we could have done four of those together. Never mind. So I, the only thing, the only difference is is that tanned circular plate that's it we're doing two of those like that and there turn it over these now that I've got two two by fours here uh, two by threes here I wonder what they're for Oh, I know what. I know what. Because I didn't strengthen these ones up, did I? They're right here. I was just looking at them and I saw these. So those are going to go on there. And while we got the ship upside down, we got. Oh, yeah. Right. While we got the ship upside down, let's put these in place. Now, you can have them like that if you want. But you can also turn them around smooth. And a little bit awkward, to be fair. And I kind of get that purchase on there and then give it a bit of a wiggle. Push it in, it will go click. It's not really much to hold. There we go, like that. Got a few pieces left over here. So there were probably stuff that I had spare. Definitely this, because I was going to replace the plate that was cracked. I know about that. And the tile here, because that was the tile that went over the front there. And that is the finished model. It looks fantastic, it really does. Let's get rid of the instructions for you for a second. It looks awesome. It, it's, it's such a clever build. Can't zoom out any further, I'm afraid. It is such a clever build. It's got the missiles at the bottom there. Now then, let's try the wings, shall we? Let's try the wings. Actually, I don't know if this is the better camera or if this is a better camera. Yeah. So, turn in the cog here. There they go. Bit squeaky. And there you have it. That's as far as they go. We got the opening cockpits. It looks really cool. It oh dear. That wasn't in place. There we go. And of course, you got this here, push it forward and yeah 
<laughs> you lose Lego everywhere. So what a fantastic build. I love it. I think it's got some really cool build technique in it and stuff like that as well. Um, and yeah, who who wouldn't want to? It's got some swishy. It's got some swishy. Yep, it's definitely got some swishiness. It's got some clever part usage with like the wheels here, the rims here. Um, I had to get this curved front here. The wing design is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I love it. Yeah, there's 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 so much for it in this, folks. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. If you didn't like this video, drop a comment. Let me know why you didn't like it. Let me know why you liked it. Do you have this set? It's awesome. Am I right? Do you agree? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button and that subscribe button as well. And you know what? Turn those notifications on as well. That'd be cool. I'm Sean from Britain Bricks. Peace.